It, it was understanding the, that connection of not just, un, you know, what are the materials we're making? What are the applications we're going into? How do we find the materials that nobody's using, make it cheap and nobody wants, but also useful materials that are just kind of on the wayside of other industries. But then it's that connection to scale. And it, and again, it's, it's a double-edged sword because there's certain areas where for certain biomaterials that scale is only going to come through more novel processes yep. and you know i think that's fine it's just not going to be for packaging right. and it's understanding for these areas of real impact that need to occur how do we get those levers of change to happen quicker at a timeline that also works for the industry because that's what's difficult yep. is we could be like hey this is going to take 20 years who the who the hell is going to come partner with and be like yeah we're going to invest 20 years in development for this and then it'll finally be rivaling what we're making just Whole loads of cash with over here on this line and you know what we realized is it is honestly being able to foam some of these biomaterials which have simply never been foamed before and get material out which is able to not like i said perform but it's really able to be produced at a scale 